this is Supercharged. It's the show where I take the sites that you've submitted and I go through them and I look for performance issues. Paul Lewis, voice of an angel, face of a pig. <laughs> Last time we looked at The Guardian's page load performance. This time we're going to do pretty similar. It's going to be The Guardian because we're going to ring it for all it's worth. Why wouldn't you? Um, a little bit of something to clarify from last time. Um, I showed my bookmarklet, which is really cool, um, to toggle the styles on and off and switch off the remote styles and just leave the inline styles that were shipped with the page. Um, there was a bug in the bookmarklet, which is why it was causing some of that uh, page content to go a bit uh, crazy. Who writes code with bugs? Not me. We've updated the, the source code, so if you want it, you can grab it yourself. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look this time at the scrolling performance. And I'm going to do that on mobile. Because if you've got performance issues on a mobile device, you're really going to feel it. You're really going to notice. And so it's a really good opportunity to just step in and go, well, if I can fix it on mobile, it's going to be amazing and blazing fast on desktop. So it's a really good opportunity. So I have my trusty Nexus device here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock it, first of all, for it is locked. <laughs> I wear a lot of hats in this show. In my job, I wear a lot of hats. This one is Jazz Hat. I'm going to go across to Chrome Inspect. And you can see here that it's showing me that Chrome Dev is available, which is good. And there's a new tab. Ready to rumble. Ready to what? Ready to, uh, I'm going to put my teeth back in. Ready to rumble. <laughs> Grab that. Let's go open tab with URL. We'll click on that and open it. And that means we can also inspect it, which brings up Chrome's DevTools. Urban ball. I'm street. I can be down with the kids, you see? I'm, I'm cool like you. And I am on the timeline, which is my personal favorite place, uh, apart from, well, maybe the elements or the console. I just like, I like them all so much. It's like choosing a favorite child. I can't, I can't do it. I'm going to do scrolling performance, because scrolling is an animation. And if there's a problem with scrolling, it's going to really kind of be the most obvious thing to uh, to users of the site. And you know this is a content site, so scrolling should be 60 frames a second and that kind of thing. So combo hat, urban jazz. And I will record. And I'm going to scroll like that. And every time the frame rate drops during that scroll, there's a bright yellow block, which is the JavaScript. And so you know it, it's. It's good to know that it's JavaScript, but I think we want a little bit more detail. So what I'll do is I'll switch on the JavaScript profiler. OK, so we have the JavaScript profiler switched on. I'm going to hit Record. I'm just going to do a bit of a scroll. Most of the time, I rely on editing to, uh, to sort the, uh, the wheat from the chaff. Yeah, Wheat being the one thing in every 100 that I say that's worth listening to. Most of the time, it's like, I don't like mung beans. So timeline, time. Line, the line of time. When you look at timelines, it's often really good to try and break down the work. And one of the things that the uh, JavaScript profiler will do is it's going to color code the results based on the file. So if you see the same color, you know it's come from the same file. And that's actually extremely useful when you're starting to kind of divide and say, well, where's the work coming from? Where's it, you know, what's responsible for the work? So you can see, I think most of these, you know, lazy load, load slot. Uh, there's a message JS. I'm not sure what that is. But my hunch is that they're trying to show a message. But it is, it's going through, it's going through Raven.js, which is a, um, that's an error capture. So I guess that's just acting as a bit of a gateway. Aha, pub adds impl. So there's something to do with ads here. Move along to the next one. Another animation frame, more ads. Evaluate script, there's an ads there. Uh, let's have a look. A ready state change. So there's something going on where there's some, presumably, some Ajax in. And we get some parse HTML here. So that implies that there's something that's being lazy loaded in. But that's causing a massive recalc style, uh, which is pretty pretty intense, actually, like 117 milliseconds. And again, this is all locking up the, the main thread. I actually went through the timeline. And I think this is a really good exercise for everyone to do, is go through a timeline recording and start marking out exactly what's going on. So in this case, I've got there's, a, there's Outbrain, there's some visitor tracking, there's some, uh, some 
uh, add stuff. The uh, the Guardian itself is doing a bit of uh, setup over multiple request animation frames. There's a whole block here that's just garbage collection. Collecting the garbage, taking the trash out. I say trash. In England, it's rubbish. But one of the interesting ones is this recalc style. You can see that it's uh, recalculating the style and then triggering a layout. Forcing a recalc style, triggering a layout. And this is a really bad state for us to be in. However, it is third party code, and so there's only so much that you can do. I think the thing to remember is that when you're running third party code, it's running alongside your code, and everybody's got contention for the main thread, that one thread that everybody's on. And so it's a bit like that time I had 10 people in a five person tent. That was just awkward. So there we go. I think the, the majority of the issues that they're facing are to do with scrolling performance and the fact that this code is not running at a time that's convenient for the browser or for the user, really. You know, web performance has never just been about page load. It's also about things like uh, animations and about responding to user taps and things like that. Um, so I'd take a look at that and see if there's a way to just defer that a little bit more uh, to when the user isn't interacting. Don't forget, you can subscribe. You should do that. Do it. Do it. Well done. Well done. You clicked it. Well done. Yay. And uh, you can submit your sites. Also a good thing to do. And I'll take a look at them. And I will catch you next time. Yes! Come on! <laughs> Throw a dart, they said. It'll be easy, they said. You ready? Miles off. Next time. Next time. <laughs>